Look, I can open the laptop with one hand. I had to open it with two hands when I bought this laptop brand new 7 months ago. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my unique experience using the ASUS ZenBook Duo and the condition of this dual screen laptop after 7 months of usage. Hi everyone, welcome to another Sky Perspective video. Yes, like all mechanical linkages, they will become loose after repeated use. For the last 7 months, I've opened and closed this laptop hinge at least once a day, so it has loosened a bit. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still good enough to hold the screen in place. In fact, it's a good thing because I can now open the laptop with one hand. I pretty much open this laptop to its maximum angle every day because I propped it up on a laptop stand. It's the main computer for my new desk setup. Speaking of using it on a desk, I want to show all of you, because of this raised hinge design for airflow and ventilation, it's better to use this laptop on a desk. It's not really suitable to be used on a lap, unless you don't mind getting these two dents on your thighs like mine. And because of this, needless to say, using it on public transport or on the bed can be quite difficult too. Especially the position of the keyboard is at the lower portion of the laptop. My DIY self kicked in and I made myself this mini wooden desk using loose wood I bought from IKEA. And yes, problem solved, no more depression marks on my thighs. Still on the topic of the hinge, I discovered there is grease on the hinge. This laptop hasn't stopped surprising me ever since I bought it. Always something new for me to discover. I realized because of this grease, some dust and debris are trapped in there. But it doesn't affect the mechanics of the hinge. Hmm, I might use a needle to carefully get rid of those debris. Having said all this, I still love this ASUS ZenBook Duo very much because the second screen is so useful. I use it all the time for secondary applications like my messaging app and multitasking watching YouTube videos or sometimes just fire up a calculator when I needed one. I'm still using a lot of these laptop features such as the touch screen, this button to swap the windows between both screens, and so on for the last 7 months. And to my surprise, throughout these months, I actually like the mini touchpad quite a lot because it complements my Logitech Pebble mouse. When I'm out and about, my Logitech Pebble mouse is a good and compact mouse to carry with me, but it lacks features like the M720 Thriathlon mouse, where I can do application switch and desktop swapping using the application button on the thumb. So, I've been using this touchpad to kind of supplement the Logitech Pebble mouse. I can do all my gestures like zooming, swapping of desktop, and application switching simply by using the touchpad. And the great thing is that the touchpad is positioned on the bottom right of the laptop, which is really convenient, saving me precious hand traveling time and distance. Yes, it might just be a small little distance we are talking about here, but imagine doing it all the time. It all adds up. So it's really handy having the touchpad right beside the mouse. I've not been using the charging brick that comes with the laptop for the past one month because I bought this new Dell S2722DC USB-C monitor. It has one single USB cable that drives my external QHD display, and the monitor delivers 65W to charge my ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop. Check out my review of this Dell USB-C monitor. It's a great USB-C monitor to have with this ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop. By the way, if you are thinking of getting this ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop, consider getting it from a store that offers extended warranty. 
Don't be like me, regretting not having the extended warranty now. Well, there's nothing wrong with the laptop that needs fixing, it's just that my warranty will be running out in about 5 months time. This is quite a capable laptop and most likely can last at least 2-3 to three years of us using it. One of the biggest selling points of this ASUS ZenBook Duo is that it is upgradable to Windows 11. I've just upgraded it to Windows 11 2 weeks ago, and I'm happy to report that all the apps run well and smoothly, including my video editing software, Hit Film Express. It's really good that Microsoft went with the minimalistic theme. I love the UI and the wallpaper of Windows 11, making the laptop look so rich. What I've noticed is that the standard ASUS battery saver and performance setting in the taskbar is no longer there after I upgraded it to Windows 11. What's available now is the standard Windows 11 power mode settings. There are only 3 levels instead of the 4 levels previously available in the ASUS Battery Saver app. The original ScreenPad Plus Screen Expert app that comes with this laptop still works very well in Windows 11, like adjusting the screen brightness, disabling the keyboard and launching the preset task group. They all still work very well in the upgraded Windows 11. Now, something for all of us to take note is that I have to repair my Galaxy Buds 2 after I upgraded to Windows 11. Not a big drama. After repairing, it works like a charm as before I upgraded it. In terms of this ASUS Active Stylus, to be honest, over the last 7 months, I haven't been using the Stylus much because it's not with the laptop. I guess I would use it more often if it's always attached to the laptop like my Galaxy Tab S6 Stylus. Speaking of attaching, one of my viewers pointed out that there are actually two magnetic points on the stylus. But there is absolutely nowhere for me to attach the stylus on the laptop. This is so weird. If you know the reason why, share the reason with all of us in the comments down below. This is my original review video of this ASUS ZenBook Duo laptop. And this is the extended video where I did a deep dive of the ASUS Stylus Pen. And this video shows how well this laptop drives two Full HD monitors. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.